Hey everyone, Julia Anson here. So I just got into the Buffalo area. We're about to head to Akron, New York. This is me and my friend, George Lobianco, rocking the I Eat Animals hat, all kinds of new merch on the website, so definitely check that out. So here we're going to Babs Barbecue. Babs Barbecue doing an absolutely massive barbecue challenge. So here we have a pound of brisket, pound of chicken, pound of pulled pork. We're gonna have a serving of ribs. We're gonna have a pound of macaroni and cheese. We have also a big thing, I think it's maybe a pound of beans. We have a pound of coleslaw. We then have also a pound or a serving of potato salad and macaroni salad, which are house made. We then have cornbread. We also have a bun. We have a tortilla. We got so much stuff. Oh, and corn fritters and corn fritters. There's so many items on this challenge. It's absolutely going to be giant. It's probably like 10 pounds of food. I know if we eat it in an hour, we get it for free. And if not, I think it's about $120. So let's go eat some food. Wish us luck. It's going to be a big one, and it's been a long day of traveling. So, fingers crossed, see what we can do, and uh, ultimately, let's have some fun. Everyone, so here we are with the challenges, which are absolutely giant. George, are you hungry, man? I'm starving, bro. So in front of us, we have a pound of their famous chicken, a pound of their famous pulled pork, a pound of their famous brisket. We have a half slab of ribs. We have a pound of their smoked wings. Yes, very, very well known for their smoked wings. We also have a full pound of this house-made mac, which is absolutely huge portion we have their corn fritters which they make here we have a house made potato salad a house made macaroni salad a house made coleslaw plus a bun and a tortilla this is absolutely massive there is so much food in front of us so we do have one hour to complete this all um, but at that that's about it i'm looking forward to it it's been a long day of traveling george what do you say, man? Let's eat, bro. So let's get started here just momentarily. We actually have a little pig timer here with one hour on the clock. Might as well dig in. So how about we get started? We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Cheers. Let's us go. This is a lot of food. Oh, man. That is beef. I love beef. That's a brisket, here's a chicken. Lovely sauce on that. Yeah, there's his, uh... We might be here for a while. Wait to try the ribs. Good? Really good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Babs Barbecue in Akron, New York. Yes, Akron, New York. I didn't know there was an Akron, New York. Now I do. Um, so this is just a bit further east of kind of like the Buffalo, Niagara region. It's kind of in the Clarence region as well. So here we are doing an absolutely massive giant barbecue challenge. One which laid undefeated and we were hopefully going to be the first to conquer this challenge. All right, very, very good chicken. Very good brisket. Let's try these ribs. That is delicious. Off the bone. Super tender. Again, one of the things we're very well, very, very, very well known for. Mm. Wow, that is tender. So for this challenge, as I mentioned, we had literally pounds of meat. We had pounds of chicken, pounds of pulled pork, pounds of brisket. We had ribs. We had their smoked wings, which were like definitely an item which they're well known for in addition to the ribs. Um, we had sides like being beans and corn fritters, just like everything you could imagine. A full, full, full barbecue spread. And then again, the homemade... Um, macaroni salad and the coleslaw so this challenge was definitely a lot bigger than we anticipated and we definitely knew that we'd have to really keep busy if we were going to be able to get it done in the time limit overall this is probably like a nine pounds of food like definitely like i said a very large challenge you guys can talk and stuff you don't be totally quiet <laughs> 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 <God. laughs> right. you're holding your breath over here no. i think that is about to be quiet for the whole hour try this pull pork there you go. Very juicy. Great sauce. Now we have their extra, more extra sauce here as well. Barbecue is one of my favorite foods, so I never turn down a barbecue meal, definitely. And especially if it's good. And I was really enjoying the flavors of this challenge here. So this uh, restaurant actually started as a food truck, and then here they have now the brick and mortar. I'm going hands in, get a little messy, but that's all part of it. That, that is okay. We're all down with that. We 
No fork either. Try these smoked wings. Again, some they're very well known for. Mm. That is delicious. The food truck also still operates and they kind of travel all around the area so you can definitely uh, kind of follow their Facebook page um, for locations of where the food truck is if you don't want to stop by their Akron location. We live with the recommended honey garlic sriracha. But I would definitely recommend stopping on by. I will say the staff here were absolutely excellent. They were very friendly. Uh, the patrons were great here as well, definitely providing some nice uh, commentary, some entertainment. Um, and, and to this point, everything was tasting absolutely great. Like I said, great hospitality um, and really good tasting food. Um, and these smoked wings we were eating too, not only were they absolutely giant, but they had a really, really cool flavor on them. Um, and uh, I will say they were definitely, like I said, one of the items to definitely try. Everything was very, very good. The barbecue, the way I describe it, um, at least in regards to, like the pulled pork to brisket, kind of more of a, uh, just I'll call it more like a general kind of southern style. Um, definitely not like a Texas style, um, not like a Carolina style, not like a Memphis style, just kind of more like general southern. And uh, like, which in that case, it suits basically all preferences. It is very, very uh, delicious. And uh, you know, if you like, again, smoked meats, you liked smoked wings, you like uh, barbecue of all varieties, they definitely have something which will kind of match and uh, suit your taste buds. Um, in addition, they uh, had a wide variety of other items on the menu, but of course this is what we ultimately uh, had in front of us today. When it comes to the difficulty of this challenge, this is definitely more of a, a high level kind of expert challenge. So definitely come hungry if you're ready for the challenge. So we're about five minutes in, just over five minutes. Very, very delicious challenge. Things are going real well. Good tasting food just goes down so easily. All the sides and everything were all um, family recipes, so it was really nice to kind of see and hear, you know, the true passion and love for the food, um, you know, kind of coming through as excellent tastes. That's a big wing. But ultimately, with only an hour to actually complete the challenge, um, that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. I'll let you get to the rest of it. Tune on in to see if we can do this. Um, like I said, this is an absolutely giant challenge. I knew this would be a very, very difficult challenge. And uh, ultimately, though, let's see. tune on in, see what happens. Like I said, delicious food. Um, so let's see it. But uh, yeah, Babs Barbecue definitely uh, was setting the bar high with this challenge. So at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Alright, I'm going to start getting some of these sides down. I got some of the coleslaw. Very thick and flavorful macaroni salad. Some beans here as well. Try that out. Gotta get the beans. Oh wow, that is tasty. And roughly like eight-ish, just over eight minutes in. Woo! No shortage of food though. It has this delicious brisket, might as well use it on these buns. So about a, about a bit over 11-ish minutes, I have all the meats gone, George is very close behind me, just lots of sides left, I specifically the macaroni, the uh, corn fritters, 
the potato salad and the macaroni salad. George has, again, maybe most of his sides, and uh, that's about oh, it. All my <laughs> Excuse me, Whew. and a tortilla. So let's get her down. All right, lots of macaroni and cheese, potato salad, tortilla and cornbread. 14 minutes, about 30 seconds in. Thank you so much. I am going to need to set my little form up though. I should do this earlier, but... This camera's going to overheat, so I'm going to set my phone up real quick. Let's try this homemade potato salad. Very fresh. So we're 18 minutes in, still making our way through it. And it's actually about 11 p.m. right now. It's very late. It's a late challenge. So huge thanks to Babs for having us here. Really great staff. I have some macaroni, cornbread, tortilla. George is working on all those sides here, getting them done. So let's do it. I don't know how that tastes. Mac and cheese? Yes. It looks incredibly cheesy. And it is dense. With like five C's thick. <laughs> Very cheesy. Minutes in. Smart move with George standing up. These are really high chairs. So we're kind of sitting with our stomachs like compressed. So I don't blame them at all. Very strategic to stand up. <laughs> so I'm just down to a tortilla and my two little pieces of cornbread. George doing really well, making his way through his sides. He only has his uh, macaroni, coleslaw, potato salad, and his fruit is left. So he's killing it. Excuse me. That means compliments to the chef. 
<sighs> There's nothing coming. And we're done there. What was the time on that? 24.49? Somewhere about 24.49, just on 25 minutes. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Very delicious. A lot of food. A lot, a lot of food. Especially eating so late at night. First thing I ate all day today. From a strategic standpoint, not the best thing. But I definitely got my fill, I'll tell you that much. No shortage. Let's not tune in. George continues to finish up. He's doing really well. So I got like 35 minutes left. So we're gonna cheer him on. Keep it up, George. You're doing real well. Oh, and uh, at that, no, we've got five let's minutes. tune in. Yeah. 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 Okay. Air bubble. Mm -hmm. Air bubble. Mm -hmm. Air bubble. Mm -hmm. Air bubble. No, I'm okay. You got a flavor or coconut? Uh, nice to hear something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You get an ice? Ice or no? Uh, no ice. No ice. Uh, I, wore the, I, wore the, I forgot to change my shirt and got really tight on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's tight? Now it's, now it's tight. Now it's tight. About 2650 in. George is killing it. I'm not going to do According to the official timer, we still got 35, 36 minutes left. Uh, according to the other timer, about 32 and a half. So somewhere in between there, we got to go. We gotta, yeah. We're good somewhere. So we're probably about 29 minutes in. George decided he is going to call it for now, uh, just to be on the safe side. We obviously don't want any accidents. Uh, so a huge congratulations to George. This thing was absolutely yeah, absolutely. giant. Woo! Giant, giant, giant. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. And he got through the vast majority of that challenge. He really is just down to a couple sides. This challenge is a killer. This thing was really, really big. But absolutely, I want to give a huge thank you, a huge shout out to Babs here. Again, excellent staff. The food is fantastic. Ooh, almost knocked the barbecue sauce over. Yeah, seriously, no complaints. Definitely a hell of a challenge um, for completing. We do get the meal for free, which is pretty dang cool. Um, and that, that's about it. I mean, definitely if you're ever in the Akron area, <laughs> up here by Clarence and all those other areas of Northwestern New York. Definitely Ooh. check out, <laughs> definitely check out Babs. Um, and they also have a food truck which travels all around the area. Um, like I said, the food truck's been well established, so well established that so they opened up the uh, location here, which I guess they just filmed a movie here half recently oh, yeah. too, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. The Quiet Place 2 here in Akron. So pretty cool as well. Uh, so if you watch the movie, maybe you'll be able to see this location. Right. But everyone, like I said, huge thank you to the staff. How you doing, George? Good. Doing good? Yep. There you go. Safety first. Yeah, like I said, guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, you that, George. George and boy, George. Right. Come on, boy. A lot of barbecue is right. So everybody, I've already said goodbye like five times, but I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Oh, happy man. day. All right, everyone, we made it to somewhere.
I'm gonna show you around real quick and let me know if you recognize this area or recognize this place, I should say. Well, if you don't, we're at the Notorious, the famous, 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 famous Penn Station, to be more specific, the Monaghan Train Hall here in New York, New York. So I'm just here for a quick stop over this long day. We're talking 16 hours of travel. That being said, I'm about to grab a train, my first time grabbing a train across a significant portion, or at least a good chunk, a good chunk, not significant, a good chunk, a whole state of land in the United States. So we're heading up to uh, the Buffalo area, It'll be fun, it'll be good, but uh, yeah, so, New York, New York, officially made it here. I will be back, everybody wanted me to come to New York, New York, I will be back, I will be back, trust me. But this time, just a quick layover, quick stop. Got my iced tea, yes, my sweet tea, which is actually an unsweetened iced tea and add Splenda. So you know I'm in the United States when. So, I'm gonna get back to relaxing while I can, and we're gonna grab a train ride, and we're gonna head up north, again. In like eight hours. Long. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys. Hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.